Alright, 17th time... Ah! 17th time is the charm. Alright, hello hickers, and welcome to another Trade Lance House tutorial. My name is Volcano65, and after many, many technical errors and trying to figure out this new recording system, software, I'm back with another Trade Lance House tutorial. And today's tutorial is a little different than... Like, I better turn off the edit house mode. I accidentally deleted a wall end over here while trying to <laughs> while trying to find the recording button. Um, so instead of showing you how to make a specific piece of furniture, like the pool table or the television, I'm going to show you how I'm going to show you a concept that I think will help me explain in the future. It, it'll just help you understand how placing furniture items in trade lands works a little bit better. And what I call this is the point of origin, and it, it's it's relatively simple. Every, every piece of furniture has one. It's the point at where you place it. It's it's right at the tip of the mouse. Most of the time, like on this fancy candle stand here, it's at the bottom... Oh, where'd it go? At the bottom center of any part you place, like crates, ingots, stuff like that. So that's the point of origin. It's right where you right where you can see my mouse up there. This is really useful for, say, this, this is how when you're trying to place an item against the wall. It, it can glitch through a little bit. Most of the time it's at the halfway point. Here actually you can see a little better. Because the uh, hitbox for this item is a little bit wider than the face of the table there, it's not going to go all the way through, but essentially this places every item halfway into something. And you can use this to your advantage when you're trying to design your own furniture. Or when I'm designing my own furniture. I have projects. So the point of origin is just that point where your mouse is connected to the item. R really? Really? We're vacuuming right now? <laughs> Could have vacuumed any other time, but it's the one time that my recording is going well. Uh, then that's how life is. Alright, lads. So, I'm sorry I've been so inactive. I've been, just been having to deal with schoolwork, uh, getting back on my own, t own feet, uh, making some life decisions. I have a few videos planned here in the near future, probably later today or within the next five minutes. It'll probably take me another 57 tries, but I will get them out. I'm making a video covering the ceiling fan, which I'm purposely not showing you on the other end of the room. And a... I keep forgetting the word. Um... A... Uh, you, know, you know when your mother... When your mother's making cookies in the kitchen, and, and you want some cookie dough, but you got, you're too short, like me. I'm a, I'm a leprechaun. So when, when you go over to the mixer, you, you gotta like you gotta reach your hand at the mixer. That's what it is. It's a mixer. Yeah, you gotta go snitch yourself some dough from the mixer. Not the little what are the, 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 the worry parts. <laughs> yeah, those things. Uh, truth this is going on longer than a minute. Anyway, uh, video on a ceiling fan and a mixer. Those will be separate videos just to keep them a little short. Uh, thank you for watching and have a nice day.